This video will discuss how to add material to a wiki page uh, if you're a student in a class. So here we have a page. This is called a wiki. It's ideas on creating engaging content. And you can see down the corner that I am in the student view. So if you are a person in a class with a student role, this should be something that you look at um, you should see something similar to this when you look at a wiki page. So normally, if I were a student in a class, I would not have this edit button up in the corner. Um, but when I created the page as a faculty member, I went down at the very bottom of the page. I clicked on a down arrow that indicated that rather than just having the teacher be able to update the page, I wanted everybody to be able to do it. So if you come to this page now, you should have the edit button. If you click that edit button, it'll look very similar to what you would see in um, a class that you were teaching yourself. Um, here's the content, the material itself. And then if we look down here, we have a table. And this is the table where we're going to be adding ideas on classroom engagement techniques. Uh, if you are just going to add uh, an item to one of the two columns that already exist, all you have to do is go down to that area and then add another line to it. And you can just type your ideas in there. And you can see these have initials. Um, I asked you this time to put in all three initials just in case um, we have repeats in initials between people who have already posted in the table. Um, however, if you do have a new idea, a new technique, rather than some of the ones that are already listed here, and you're anywhere in the the table. If you scroll up to the top of where the table starts, you can see that there's a lot of options up here. And so here's where you're going to have insert row before, insert row after. Uh, so you could do that. I'm going to do insert row after from where I was at. Now if I go down, you can see there's a brand new row. And that way you can write in there whatever material you would like. And when you save it, that new row will show up for anybody who's in the class. So if we go down to the bottom, you'll see beneath the table, there is the resources. So there's a couple examples already posted here. And you can post uh, your resource as well. So you can see that there's a little brief discussion of just what that article is. And then here's the, the reference. And you can see that a lot of these are probably going to be resources that you get online and that are available online. And so you can post the um, HTTP site or the, the website address for that so that anybody who would like to learn more about a particular topic based on reading your description uh, they will be able to click on that link and it will take them to that resource. So when I get done go to the bottom and you can put uh, save. In this case I'm just going to do cancel because we don't need to make these changes and it will ask me if I'm sure I want to do that and yes I do. And then when you make it your changes, you should be able to see it after you have saved it. So again, if you have any questions about this, please do let me know. Thank you.